so I found my way and found my home on Eden's Island, where the wind has been telling the truth forever and ever and ever. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you guys are. Now, whatever time you guys are watching, this is Mr. Mambo Teo. And today we're at one of our uh, main spots, probably my main spot, yeah. And we're gonna do something different. I came by myself and we're gonna, it's drizzling a little, it's drizzling a little bit. Hopefully, uh, I don't think it's gonna rain. I checked the radar. It shouldn't really rain that much. But I came for, uh, to train for my free diving. Keep, training. I pretty much just can't come and find a rock and walk underwater with it as much as I can. That's how I started and it definitely does help. It's a great exercise. You know, I, I know I, there's more like more things I can do to uh, help with my training. Like I can do more exercise. I can probably do this more often. I try to do it at least once a week. Uh, I try to do it, you know, two times a week, but at least once a week, even if it's just like a normal dive and not doing the rock exercise. And yeah, it's drizzling. You know, I try to eat, uh, I eat, I eat as much uh, fruits as I can and, and vegetables. I know I can eat more. I drink a lot of water. I don't smoke. So yeah, look at this, guys. Just walk down through here. It's a nice little pool there. But yeah, I don't, I try to take camera myself as much as I can. I know I can do more, but you know, the good thing about free diving is that it's a sport that you can do until you're 70 years old or around there. So, you know, there's no rush. So it's all about patience, taking your time and just enjoying it. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get my stuff and get down there. The cool thing about this beach and the spot is that right there, that's actually fresh water coming out of there and mixing in with the ocean water. That fresh water comes from like some rivers some, and some natural pools close by. Uh, some manantiales. I'm not sure how you say that in uh, English. It also comes out of the sand and it, and it comes out of all like from the sand under the water. So that's why this water is, uh, is a little bit colder than uh, other beaches because of that. This is uh, fresh river water coming out of it, mixing in with the ocean water. It's pretty cool, pretty magical. All right, guys, well, I'm all ready to pretty much go. I got my weights on, I got my rock. Again, I'm by myself. I don't really recommend, I don't recommend at all that you dive or train diving by yourself. Always have a buddy with you. Do not do as I do, do as I say. The only reason I'm doing this by myself is because I don't really have that many friends. And the friends that I do have don't really have the weekdays available. Um, and my and the ones that do have, like Hibara Guajira and Walter, he doesn't really uh, he doesn't really like to do this training. He doesn't like to go out just to train and stuff. But I like to, I like to do it. It's fun. Um, and plus, you know, I gotta keep training if I if I want to make it to two minutes or three minutes underwater uh, with one breath. Cause I am by myself. I I can buy my knife. You know, these these reefs are dead. Never seen a shark over here. The only shark I've seen is a nurse shark, but you never know. I brought it just in case. Can never be too safe. Uh, usually I go all the way to the black over there, but since I'm by myself, I'm probably gonna go halfway to this little black rock right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll put on my mask. Let's send it. All right, let's get the rock. Get into this water. Getting into the water always for the first time feels a little bit cold, so I should get used to it. You know, my body temperature get used to it. I relax myself, take some breaths, get my mind calm. Here goes the last breath. And let's send it. You can tell how murky it is at the beginning here because of the waves throughout right the shore. So the waves are just kicking out all the sand and the particles. This part's a little bit tricky too because of the currents of the waves pushing in and out from the shore. So when it's pushing out of the into the ocean, that's when I kick out and I start pushing in. So I don't have to waste that much energy. I use that momentum. But when it's when the ocean is pushing into the shore, that's when I hold and I hold and I hold. Thirty 
36 seconds, you know, I can do better than that. So let's rest, calm our body and mind and slow our heartbeat like Avatar. Breathe in. Breathe from down here. Breathe out slowly. Look, your heartbeat is fast. Sorry. Try to focus. Okay. Relax. Here we go. I start the timer first because you can hear me take the deep breath and the GoPro mount is also like a snorkel mouthpiece. So I have to switch mouthpieces before I dive down. So I start the timer as soon as I take my last breath and you can hear me switching off mouthpieces. Don't think I'm cheating. And since you got the raw natural experience in the first run, I decided to change up the whole vibe in this run since I know most people have the attention span of a walnut and will probably find this boring. Looking around, taking my time. You push too hard, you use too much energy. You gotta be very smart with how you use your energy and how you disperse it. So far, doing better than my first time. Already starting to run out of oxygen. In 51 seconds, that's definitely an improvement, I say. As you can see right here, I checked my heart rate by my neck so I can see how fast my heart's going. If it's going too fast, that's mean I'm not calm enough. The faster your heart's pumping, the more oxygen your body is using. So just, you know, you gotta really gotta relax yourself. This time I'm just sitting down. Just chilling. I reach to the end. I do this a couple times. Obviously, I don't record every run because then I just be here for like 30 minutes. We're just chilling. Really trying to stay as calm as possible. Really peaceful down there. Really peaceful. <laughs> and back up we go. You relasted a minute. That's definitely easier as well because, you know, I'm just sitting down, not using energy. And now we start heading back. Like I said, I didn't record everything. As I'm walking, I see a cool little seashell. I pick it up. Ooh, piece of candy. I keep on moving. I stop and sit down for a bit, take a break. 53 seconds. This is the last run, going back to the shore, trying to get the rock out of the water. By this point, already tired and I'm pushing my max. Since this is my last run and I'm taking the rock out of the water, I am close to the shore, so I'm dealing with the same issues from the first run. The waves coming in and out, the current, so I really have to take my time and use my energy wisely. Patience is key. Towards the end, I start realizing that I'm close to the shore and from getting the rock out of the water, but I also am really, really low on oxygen and I'm not gonna make it. But at the same time, I don't wanna start over and relax just to go like 10 feet. So I do my little turtle cheat. I jump from the bottom, get a little oxygen, and sink back down. So without the cheat, it was 57 seconds, and with the little cheat, it was a minute and three seconds. So you decide which one you want to count. Woo! Yeah, guys. Obviously, I didn't record everything. Because it would just be me in first person just walking on the water and it's a little bit murky. Uh, so I did send a, a little bit of city, a lot of walking. I went all the way, all the way to that little uh, black spot right there. 
went there, came back to here, and then went back, sat down like three or four times as well. But uh, that's good, man. It's, it's good. It's, it's like a different type of exercise. I like it. It's fun. But yeah, guys. Now I'm gonna I'm just gonna chill here. And uh, if anything exciting happens, uh, I'll I'll bring you along. Uh, I did pretty well. I think I lasted like at least 50 seconds under the water, maybe a minute with the rock, which I'm pretty surprised. It was pretty peaceful as well. You did fine. Well, yeah, guys. I'll catch you in the next training episode. Until next time, go to you.